This is our 28th week of working uh, together as a team, all focused on getting to the game tonight. We just want to honor those that came before you with how you do your job. We want to uphold a standard that is the Pittsburgh Steel organization. It's measured in Lombardi's. We understand that. Ben is back. Wants to throw. Pressure. Throws it down the field. That's Heath Miller inside the five. And he's tackled at about the one-foot line. First and goal. Gerald Hayes had help from Roderick Hood to drag it down. Favoring the right hash mark. Good snap. Good hold. The kick by Reed is up. Mr. Dependable gets the Steelers on the board first, but Arizona saves four. Hartwig over the ball. There's the snap. Ben is back. Ben scrambles out of the pocket left. Now goes back to the right. Needs a block. Spun around. Throws the pass down the field. It is caught. Heath Miller leaping grab inside the 25. First down to the 22-yard line. But that was Ben at his best. A bunch of guys had a shot at Ben. He spins out, scrambles back against the grain. Sees Heath Miller there. Right by the numbers, and he not only does he get it to him, but he gets it to him with a lot of zip. Ben under center. Three tight ends. One of whom motions right. They give it, and off the right side, plowing in for a Steelers touchdown is Gary Russell. The first touchdown of Super Bowl 43 belongs to the second-year man from Minnesota. Great push. They push that sea of red right into the end zone. Steelers show blitz. They're back. He throws the pass up. It's going to be picked off. James Harrison has it. He's running up the sideline. 25, 30, 35, 40. Still on his feet at the 45 and down. No, he's still on his feet. Here comes Harrison jumping over people to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. And that's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. An amazing play by James Harrison. He picked off a pass that started at the two-yard line, weaved his way through people, and it is incredible that markers are down on the field, so let's see why. James Harrison is out on the field. He is totally exhausted. Steelers come with the blitz. Warner goes to his hot read. He's looking for Anquan Bolden. He thinks James Harrison is rushing, but from his outside spot, he buzzes the flat. James Harrison makes a great play. He starts taking off, man, and you talk about running out of gas. A silverback jumped on the back of the silverback. He makes guys miss, and then he gets a convoy. There's nobody there to make the tackle, and he rubbed. That is the biggest play of this football game. A 100-yard touchdown return by James Harrison. The previous play will be reviewed. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Cardinals showing blitz from their right side. Ben with a quick pop to the right. Santonio gets inside a man. Keeps his balance. Gets the first down inside the 25. He spun around. Rogers pro Marty started to fall. Kept his balance by putting his palm down and then got a couple of extra yards. 21-yard field goal for Jeff Reed straight away. The ball is down. The kick is on its way. The kick is up and good at the 46 of Arizona. Gets the snap. Pumps, fires a pass, it's caught. Running down the sideline, 30, 25, Santonio to the 10. Santonio tackle at the five-yard line with 51 seconds now, 50 to go. First and goal, Pittsburgh. Second and goal at the 7, 43 seconds to go. Ben gets the snap. He's back, he pumps. He scrambles around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! Santonio Holmes! I don't know how he did it! Dominique Rogers Cromarty doesn't know how he did it, but they ruled touchdown in the far right corner of the end zone. Maloney goes out in the flat, Hines posts, and actually Ben was looking at Hines initially, then he looks for Santonio in the corner, and Santonio goes up, comes down with his feet down in the corner. What a throw, what a catch, what a game! 35 seconds left. They have ruled touchdown. This is reviewable. It's gotta be it's gotta be reviewed. After review, the receiver controlled the football, came down on both toes, inbounds, touchdown. Eight people deep. He gets the snap. He's back. He steps up. He runs around. He's gonna be throwing the football incomplete. Do the Steelers have a fumble recovery? No, incomplete pass. His, his arm was coming forward. We have one official saying incomplete. We have another saying Pittsburgh ball. The referee is pointing. It's over, folks. There is no challenge. There is no replay. There's a knee. 
and Super Bowl 43 is history. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl for a sixth time unprecedented in the annals of NFL play. Every time this team needed to make a play this year, they came up with a big play, and in only his second year, Mike Tomlin has won the Super Bowl. Hats off to Tomlin and the coaching staff. These players who had that quiet confidence reflecting their coach's personality all season long, and when things looked dark, a man who was embarrassed by his play in Super Bowl 40 guided them down the field for the winning score, and the defense took care of business. The Pittsburgh Steelers are Super Bowl champions. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrating the 40th anniversary of his Super Bowl III victory, please welcome Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath and the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl III MVP, Hall of Famer, and Pennsylvania native, Joe Willie Namath. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the Vince Lombardi Trophy to the chairman of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Mr. Dan Rooney, is the commissioner of the National Football League, Roger Goodell. Well, some said that we could not top last year's Super Bowl. But the Steelers and Cardinals did that tonight. Dan, Art, Mike, Ben, and all the Steeler fans, congratulations on your sixth world championship. You're Super Bowl winners again. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Rooney, what was your uh, expectations of this team when the season started? This group of young players were just marvelous. Uh, I can't say enough about them. We had the toughest schedule in the league. They kept going under Mike Tomlin's direction, and it was great. I would just like to thank President Obama and all the Steeler Nation for supporting us down through the years, and it's really terrific. Mike Tomlin has uh, just done a marvelous job, and thank you very much. Do you have room in the trophy for another one there? You got six of them. Now you're the winningest franchise in NFL history. We'll make room. Thank you, thank you Mr. Rooney. Let me bring in the head coach here. Come on over, coach. Mike Tomlin, the youngest coach to coach in a Super Bowl. That would make you the youngest coach to win a Super Bowl. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm also uh, the most blessed coach uh, to work uh, with our staff and this group of men right here. Uh, I cannot say enough about what these guys are willing to do for one another and for you out there still a nation. When you took over this team at age 32 and you're following in some pretty big footsteps with Bill Cowher, did you at any point think that maybe you were in over your head? No, I had great belief. Uh, in the Roonies, uh, in their decision making. Uh, they know what they're doing. Uh, my comfort rested in their decision making. And uh, all I wanted to do was prove them right. How nervous were you during those final? When you saw Larry Fitzgerald taking off for the touchdown, what were you thinking? Actually, I was thinking if they were going to score, that's how you want them to score quickly. You know, this has been our story all year, hadn't it, man? Still, the football is 60 minutes, it's never going to be pretty. Throw style points out the window, but these guys are fight to the end. And I take my hat off to you, and I congratulate every last one of you. Coach, congratulations. 
We bring up the uh, MVP, Santonio San Holmes. I want to bring in. Uh, come on, son. Come on. Congratulations, Santonio. San Grab the hardware from Ben. You certainly deserve that. Nine catches on the evening, 131 yards. You had four on the final drive. Ben, say anything to you in the huddle on that final drive? Uh, I said to him that I wanted to be the guy to make the plays for this team. Uh, I wanted to continue to be great, and uh, great players step up in big-time games and make plays. What did you think when you saw Larry Fitzgerald take it to the house? I kind of lost a lot of composure, you know, uh, but I knew my defense would, uh, would get us a chance to get the ball back. And when I knew we got a great quarterback in number seven, you know, he's the guy that, that, that's going to continue to work hard, you know, and give me an opportunity, and we did it. For posterity's sake, what was the name of the play that you scored the game-winning touchdown on? Uh, if I tell everybody about that, they'll definitely be looking to stop us from here on out. Well, congratulations, San Antonio. Thank you. I appreciate it. This was for Pittsburgh, baby. Come on over, Ben. All right, you got two of them. You told me earlier in the week, you said, you know what, I was nervous the first time around. This time I was having fun. Did you? I had a lot of fun. Really proud of this group of guys. Pittsburgh, our fans, we love you all over the world. And you know what? Offensive line, who's laughing now, O-line? Let me take this down to them. Well, hold on a second. They'll, they'll get plenty of time to touch it here. But on that final drive, what did you say to these guys when you got in the huddle? I said, it's now or never. I told the guys, all the film study you put in doesn't matter unless we go do it now. And uh, I'm really proud of the way they responded, went all the way down the field and scored. What did you learn about yourself tonight? That anything's possible. Congratulations. That's uh, two Super Bowls for Ben Roethlisberger, turning 27 in a month, second youngest to win two Super Bowl trophies. Congratulations, Ben. The Pittsburgh Steelers, the Super Bowl champions. Congrats, man. Congratulations, Tony. The, the Ohio State. And we have more to come from Tampa, including more interviews and thoughts from our panel. We're coming right back in the aftermath of Super Bowl 43 after this. Fantastic finishes with Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers finally getting the last word. A picture perfect winning touchdown pass to the MVP Santonio Holmes. There it is with 35 seconds to go and a record sixth Super Bowl title for the Pittsburgh Steelers who now rank perhaps as the model franchise in all of American sports. We finally reached the end of our Super Bowl broadcast but don't go anywhere. There's a special episode of the office about to begin. Once again the final score the Steelers 27 the cards 23.